Okay, got her all touched up. Uh, the only thing I'm really not happy with is the the brown in her hair, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, a little little darker than what I wanted. Uh, the flesh tone I had one hell of a time getting something even close to the the flesh tone. The red red was easy, yellow was easy, and the blue was easy. But it is all complete, and at least it's, you know, filled in, touched up, and you can actually see all the lines and everything where everything's supposed to be. But, you know, there's a few spots in there that I could have touched up even more, but uh, that's good enough for now. I think it turned out good. And now it's time to get this clear-coated so we can get this play field done. Uh, once we get it clear coated, <clears throat> then we can flip it over and start working on all the mechanics on the bottom side of the play field. But yeah, the blue blue turned out really nice. I put the put some lines in it to kind of kind of blend it all in. So uh, the flesh tone, you know, it's like I said, I had a hell of a time getting the color to even get close. The only one I'm not happy with is the brown. Everything else looks good. But, so she'll have a, a dark streak in her hair. Oh well. Alright, so I'm going to turn on the heater and get it warmed up in here. And we're going to get some clear on this. Alright, I've had a few people ask uh, what, what brush I use for... Uh, clear coating and I have a this is a uh, something touch artist's touch inch and a half wash it's real real soft I used to use a it's one of those sponge brushes but I get too many bubbles in the clear coat with it and too much you have to do too much uh, steel wool and to get the, all those bubbles out and I use Minwax, water-based, polycrylic protective finish. Crystal clear, ultra-fast drying, easy water cleanup. Clear gloss. And that's what I use on my, on my play fields, and I have yet to have any problems. So we're going to, I'm going to put uh, some deep purple machine head on the turntable while I clear coat and I'll find something appropriate for you to listen to.
for sure I've never been so close before It's one way or the other No way in between I ain't getting any younger And you will stay forever a two coats of clear on it and got it all steel wooled down and ready to be polished out now I have been uh, my last uh, project we did uh, Star Trek we finished up Star Trek I was kind of messing around with using my drill and a buffing wheel for doing the play fields kind of saves on my arms I mean I, I I really do like hand rubbing them out, but uh, it gets a little, a little hard on the arms. So I kind of, and as I get older, I don't. <laughs> I'm looking for some easier ways to do things. So uh, I used the the drill with the polishing wheel on it on Star Trek, and it turned out really well, and it was a lot easier. So I'm going to do the same thing on Gorgar and hopefully it will turn out just as good as Star Trek did so I'll get you set up in the, in the tripod uh, let's see yeah we do have you know it I think a lot of this is it's pretty close here the brown and the hair that that's just the way it's going to be in my black or my blue looks good through here and I got the got the black around the around the inserts here and I still think I'm going to I'm going to have to change these three arrows cuz they're all hanging up in the back so they're probably warped so I'm still going to I'll probably change those out I kind of like to leave the originals in but I have pushed them down, back down in, and they they have come back up. So we're gonna gonna have to change them, unfortunately. But that's the brakes, and it'll it'll look good with the new inserts in it too. So uh, let me get you set up, and we'll do some polishing.
Well, Saturday morning, I'm going to back down here. I'm going to get all this shit hauled off here. I'm going to use that flatbed trailer. I'm going to load it all on and haul her over to White City, Oregon. And I'll be going to take a part of the day off Monday and haul it over there for scrap metal and get rid of this shit. Anyway, uh, here's another disaster. Uh, this is a plastic mailer. Kind of a homemade deal, not really, I mean, uh, there's a machine shop up in front of the falls there. The old guy, he's retired now, but he built two or three of these for these, these guys here. And it's all custom built. Uh, it's called PTL Machine and Fabrication at the Falls, and they built all this stuff. But I'll just give you a brief overview of the way that it works. Uh, Okay, so that's fumigation plastic. After they fumigate a field, they want to get the plastic off of it. The operator, they actually stand up here, and there will be a guy down here, and he'll feed that plastic through these wheels. He says, wheels have hydraulic motors on them, and it'll feed that plastic in the... Uh, so I can get around here. And it'll feed that plastic up. Actually, those guys stand back here on the other side. I'm on the wrong damn side of it. All right. Ah, that does it. That dooted it. We got, got our play field all touched up. I have two coats of clear coat on here. And you seen me put one coat of wax on it. And while you guys were sleeping... I put another coat of wax on it just you know just to make sure I got everything all waxed up and she come out good uh, I like it touch up you know I can I can live with the touch up uh, skin tone looks good brown looks like like brown and my blue turned out really good too. I put in those little, put in some lines just to kind of, kind of blend it in so you can, you know, when you first, when you're looking at it, you really don't notice that it, that it's been touched up all through here. Uh, got the black touched up, our red, yellow, yellow looks good, the red looks good. We got all of that all done. That look, I think that's pretty presentable. It's a hundred percent better than what it was on old Gorgar. Uh, she polished out really nice, really buffed up, really good, nice and smooth. This ought to be faster than what it was. May even be faster than right out of Williams factory but overall you know for a 79 this it was in really good shape I don't know if this one it got played a lot but you know not as much as some of them not like that Star Trek we did man that one must have really been played the hell out of Gorgar uh, must must not have been in a very good location to not maybe this one didn't get quite as much play or the operator took care of this one a lot more than that Star Trek pretty iconic machine and let's see while you weren't looking I went ahead and I cleaned the cabinet started working on touching up a few areas and we got got her on her feet I put red legs on her I think the I think the red legs look pretty good on it. Uh, started touching up the back box, getting them getting black done. I got half of it done here. I still I need to work up in here. I need to change out this molding. I have a little better piece of molding that's going to go up in there and look a lot better than that corner molding there. In fact, I think I have corner molding that, well, it's, it's 
go take a look. I thought I was just going to use a piece of <clears throat> a piece of square stock. Put a piece of square stock up in there. I think the square stock will look pretty good up in there. And paint it black. So I think that's what we'll do there. And then I gotta finish touching that side of the back box up and you know we'll get that all done. But she's coming along. Looking better and better. Gorgar, feed me. <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, a lot of work on the play field, but we got her done, and she's gonna she's gonna look nice when it's all completed. In the next video, we'll flip this back over, and we'll start getting everything all put back together on the play field, and. So we're not too far away from firing it back up and doing some troubleshooting. Need to clean that door. Got that funk on it. Yeah. We'll get that cleaned up as well. So I hope to see you on the next one. So until next time. See ya.